Night tubers. I was snared in by this. Have your name written on a grain of sand, a grain of rice even. This young gentleman's going to show us what it's all about. Uh, rice writing is an ancient art form. Uh, you see it in different forms. This is a little bit of Thai sticky rice. This is literally straight out of the packet. You can write on both sides of the rice as well. Uh, so I'll show you something really, really simple here. Okay. So we need a name. Stuart. Stuart. Okay. Minty's GT. We'll have my channel's name. Sorry? Minty's GT. Minty's GT. Oh, how are you spelling that? M-I-N. M-I-N. T-Y. T-Y. Space. Oh, no, S, sorry. Yeah. Space, then GT. GT. Minty's GT. Okay. So this is how we do it. So we take literally take a little piece of rice out of the pile. Okay. So you can have any types of rice. This is actually uh, compliments of Sainsbury's. Sounds like I stole it, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like it was so donated. <laughs> it does sound like it was donated, doesn't it? So what we do is, first of all, we pick a piece of rice. Now, you can pick anything like that out of this pile uh, and stuff. Now, I use Thai sticky rice because it's not because it's particularly that long, but just purely because it's nice and bright. It has a nice, cheerful disposition. So what we do is we pop the rice into a little bit of tack. This is just to hold the rice in place. Yeah. So, like a vice sort of Yeah, thing. like a little vice. So we want a little, a little bit of a prep on the surface like that there, just to, just to remove any of the husk, any little lumps and bumps, just like that there. Okay, so it's just nicely prepared. And if I was going to do something a bit finer than that, I'm working out a little bit longer. Uh, so what we've got is a little pen. So you can use different things. I'm using this old rotary pen, uh, an old uh, uh, draftsman's pen. And what you do is just literally get the ink flowing like that there. Okay, now these are no toys for getting a bit clogged up, so we're going to just let that flow like that. And what we normally do is take a big deep breath, just hold the breath, and then start to write. So here we go. Let's see what let's see what happens. Never know exactly how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. Here we go. Okay, there we go. So, what we can use then is use the blade as a tool just to create little effects with this as well. So, I want to be nice and sharp, nice and fine. So, what we can do is just enhance those characters a little bit more like that there. Okay, you can play around with it a little bit as well. So, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, really tiny. We're going to make it as big as we can so it's nice and legible. Okay, and nearly there, then I'll show you what we've actually done. Okay. Let's do that a little bit there as well. Oh, there we go. Minter's GT. Focus on it. That's incredible. Now, what we're going to put that in? I want that. <laughs> we're going to have to keep that for the channel. I see other so, people you've demonstrated for, and they've walked off, obviously. Yeah, no, no. I do demonstrations all day long. Yeah. You know, so you can actually, you know, you don't have to. I, I like to show people something because I think I think anything is possible. I think uh, if you put your mind, your focus to something, then you can achieve anything. So yeah. this is it. I we, couldn't achieve that. <laughs> any, there's anything we can actually do. You know, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Yeah. If you're willing to put the energy to it. I was reading a, a great book by a gentleman called Malcolm Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell was a, a social scientist in America, and he wrote lots of books. One's called Outliers, and he, in this book, he actually uh, researched people who made it in different fields, from Bill Gates, the Beatles, all sorts yeah. of people, entrepreneurs. And he found out they had something in common. They all had something in common. And they all became experts around about 10,000 hours. Yeah. 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. Yeah. So what it did, it proved that if you keep working at something, you do it and do it and do it and do it, whether you're passionate about it or not, you do it, you're going to become an expert someday. Awesome.
what that means, Tubers, is my channel will go viral if I spend enough time at it. Just yeah. 10,000 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I want to refine that even more. So what we can do is you can make that so crystal clear. Once it goes into the little vials like these ones here, yeah. this is going to go into a little vial. Like these ones here, they've got a little bit of rice floating around oh, yeah. in there, perfectly preserved in there. Uh, How long will that preserve? No, the oldest for? ones we've come across have been between 40 and 50 years old. Now, 40 I, and 50? Yeah, I, don't, I make no guarantees of how long. It, it really depends how long how it's sealed up. If it's sealed up really well, it's yeah. rice prepared really well, you're going to get something which is, which is nice, you know. So, uh, I suppose it magnifies it as well. Yeah, it does. This one's actually magnified by about, uh, about 15%. So that one there, believe it or not, it says supercalifragilistic expelliarmus. So let me get it to focus on it. Yeah, so just, that's actually just about there. That's incredible. Yeah. I can see it in my eye, but not necessarily on the screen. Yeah. So that's actually, yeah, it's 34 characters. So it's, it's, it's still fairly legible. Yeah. If you want to get smaller than that, then you're going to find difficulty seeing your own vision. Yeah. Know, but, hence the uh, magnifying glass. Hence the magnifying glass, yeah. So what I'm going to do is just get that really nice and sharp there. Uh, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to have a look at underneath there as well. And uh, okay, so so how long have you been writing on rice for? Uh, I've been doing it just slightly in the last ten years. You know, it's it's something that you can't really do and expect to do really good straight away. You have to keep doing it. Yeah. If it was just a, a hobby, it's obviously they'll take a little bit longer to actually get the. Uh, uh, get that perfected but I think you know tools become part of you you know it just yeah. becomes easier just like language and yes of course. you don't have to really think about it too much anymore I mean I do uh, landscaping and gardening for a living oh yeah and I can mow a lawn and not have to look back at it yeah but when you get an apprentice in you're forever yeah. explaining to crouch yeah. down look where you've been and I mean I know when I've cut a grass bad and I know when I've cut a grass good without even to have a look at it yeah you know yeah it is actually down to... It does to, come, to se come to second nature. It does. That's what it is. You know, and I think... Uh, I mean, not that the, the skills are being obviously complete the end of the spectrum, but yeah, it's the I same sort of principle. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think to do this to do this really well, like to do it, you've got to be a certain type of person. Yeah. And you've got to think you've got to really care about your workmanship as well, you know. so like Only as do, good as your last job. That's it. Yeah, you've got to really care and you've got to, I think you've got to want to get it better and better every single time and want yeah. to improve yourself. And I think if you just do something beautiful for people, you know, we'll put all your heart into it, then you've got to have something which, uh, it's not just a beautiful object to look at, but it becomes a beautiful experience, uh, yeah. a beautiful memory. Well, this memory will last a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing with the channel. I don't care if people get enjoyment out of it because when I'm 50, 60, maybe even 70, yeah. I can look back at what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a recorded history and it's fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. And even in the last two or three years from doing it, you can see yourself growing and, yeah. you know. Growing in confidence as well as a yeah. person. and. Uh... Oh, definitely. You know, and when you actually do something special and then people can actually look at you and, and they get inspiration from yourself, uh, then that's awesome. So I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put a little tiny little thing between the Y and the S. So that's... Uh... That's incredible. I'm glad it's zoomed on the phone because it is a struggle to see on the eye. <laughs> yeah. That's not really clear zoomed in. Okay, so what we'll do there, let me check one other thing there, and then uh, we should be ready to put it into something. And all you've got to do is decide what you've got to put, what you want to put it into. Uh, something cheap, because that's me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so something like that there is nice. Just, yeah. just £10. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, something like that there, nice and clean cut. I mean, they're obviously, you know, if you do come to the island tubers, there's a lot to pick from. Some people want to, there's a frame. There's another way to do it. A uh, little family tree. That's the most popular family orientated one we tend to get asked for. That is awesome. And I've just done a wedding one for someone. Uh, yeah, I could imagine this would work as a gift. Yeah, I've done like a that. wedding one uh, this morning. 
Uh, we're doing a couple of simple ones for people. And there we go, a little bit of, we just inject a little bit of oil into there like that there. And I would like to tell you that's actually very rare Tibetan yak oil. But if I oh. told you that, it wouldn't be true, would it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, no, all I can say to you is that I mean, if it's good enough for babies, it's good enough for me. Okay. Oh, it's Johnson's baby. <laughs> <laughs> Does that give you, yeah, give you, I thought I'd give you a bit of a clue there. Yeah. But uh, sometimes I tell people, I say, yeah, it's camel spit. <laughs> and uh, the kids are horrified for it. And, yeah. uh, but then even time it's not true, you still got that in your mind, you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once you plant that seed. Yeah, it is planted. I see you've put the tube of oil laid on its side and it's not even coming out. Uh, that's because it's magic. No, it's because it's, it's a uh, little vacuum. It's surface tension, yeah. So yeah. it's it's uh, basically says that uh, it's the viscosity of the oil against the uh, the air pressure. So what I'm going to do here is just get that tiny bit of pus just outside of there like that, and there you go. It's a little bit like brain surgery. And then what's gonna what's gonna happen here? Now once I put it in here, you're gonna notice it gets bigger. So if I put that just in like that. Yeah, I can see it on my eyes see straight it? away, yeah. Notice how bright it's got there like that. Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna put a little bong in there, I'm gonna seal that one up. Uh, and I'm gonna give it a bit of a trim. And I'm gonna glue it in place. So there's a bit of a master class in how to do a bit of rice writing. Okay, so give it a bit of a clean like that there. There we go. We've had all sorts of interesting ones recently. Last week we had a famous word from the Lion King. Which word? Hikini Matata. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> we also had one from uh, Mary Poppins the other day as well. So, and that was uh, uh, practically perfect in every way on a piece of rice. Um, this afternoon I've got to draw a picture of a football on a piece of rice for someone. Blimey. And you might think it's a football, it's a nice little, nice simple little... No, because you've got to get it thing. circular, yeah. Yeah, and what has, what the football's got on them? Squares. Panels. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're doing something which is a couple of millimetres in diameter, and you've got to put panels in there, and then sometimes you've got to put collar in there as well, then that's uh, it's, uh, no mean feat. So we've had name, address, and phone number. We've had uh, a few marriage proposals. Not me, not to me, but <laughs> a few marriage proposals. We've had uh, a few people respond. Not, uh, fortunately, for, not been any no's. There's always been yeses. Uh, we've had secret codes. Do they do it with the rice, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come to you and get yeah. written yes on a bit of rice. Yeah. Well, and uh, we've had secret codes. So we've actually had people literally come in here very quietly with a bit of paper. Mm. Slip me a bit of paper with uh, not just numbers and letters on, but shapes as well. Blimey. Quietly pay me and quietly just walk out. So we've had that. Uh, Have you done anyone famous? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I've done, I did something famous uh, for someone apparently famous the other day, which was um, someone came in and said, uh, oh, no, this is actually an internet order actually. Someone said, uh, I have a famous actor friend. Who, who likes working in imperial measurements and in, in, in precision detail. Yeah. And would you draw a little ruler for me on a piece of rice? So what we did, if you can imagine an eighth of an inch, yeah. then you divide that by eight, an eighth of an eighth of an inch. So we had a precision ruler, which was exactly an eighth of an eighth of an inch, but in increments of, an eighth of that. So, and that was nice, that's cool. Look really nice. Fantastic. So you can do different things. So there you go. So uh, let me just show you that. It's going to go off in a few seconds. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll show you that there. And what we got here is nice and clear. There is Minty's GT. Oh, I'm not zoomed in the wonder why. There we go. There, yeah, there we go. That's incredible. I like that. Okay. Well, that's writing on a rice with this guy. I'm going to leave a link to... You've got a website? Yeah. Leave a link to his website below and some details of how you can find him if you're on the island. Till next time.
这样。